We have Kimberly back in the salon today and she's been in quite a few of my videos in the past so you may recognize her and she's ready for a bit of a change. She's had the same haircut for a little while now so it's time to give her a bit of a new look. And this is how we used to cut Kimberly's hair. It was a great haircut but she's had it for a while so it's time to give her a bit of a shorter look today. So I did go through and highlight Kimberly's hair before we start the haircut, but let's break the haircut down for you today. So the way I section it off in the back, I go ahead right under the occipital bone and I just section that triangle section off in the back to start my haircut. So you can see here I keep my sections nice and clean and I'm just going to take it right across the bottom there, right across the bottom of the hairline, just get a nice clean line to it to start with. So my first section, you can see here I'm going to pull directly out at 45 degrees because we're going to take it pretty short but I'm going to do it all with the scissors today, no clippers involved. So I'm just going to work my way through the side here, dragging it slightly back, over directing it back just a little bit, keep a little bit of weight behind the hair, but I'm going to go ahead and take that up on the bottom. So the hairline is going to graduate up behind the ear there, you can see. So I've gone ahead and finished that section. So moving on above the crown now, or above the occipital bone, right around the crown or the top of the head. So this is where it becomes uh, an important, it's like the second big section. Um, I'm going to section that off basically half the head because what I'm going to do here is I want to lose the bob sort of look. So I'm going to take my guideline from right around the crown there because I want to work this into the side. So it's very important just to keep it nice and clean but as I'm coming around to the side I'm going to pull it directly out at 90 degrees over directing it back just a little bit to take that whole corner off. Now this is where she's going to lose a lot of hair. So it's a long pixie is what I'm doing but I want her to be able to still be able to tuck it behind her ears. So you can see here, very clean sections, just over directing it back just a little bit, but following that guideline all the way through, getting rid of a lot of the weight here, but keeping it long enough to tuck behind her ears. So after fi finishing the other side, I'm gonna move on to the top. So again, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer in the front, but moving that directly out of the way, and I'm going to pull it up uh, directly off the head, but connecting it to the side. So it's not going to be hanging over or anything like that. We're going to make sure everything's nice connected, nice sort of round layers. But again, over direct. Okay, so over directing this back because we want to keep a little bit of length. So bringing everything back just slightly to keep it longer in the front. I, I, it's a bit of a safe guideline because I know I'm going to chip into it and give it a lot of texture. So I want to keep a little bit of length there. Now I talk about this a lot in my videos, but if you really watch the way I cut, when I'm closing the blade, I'm actually cutting when I'm dragging the scissor back instead of forward. So I'm not pushing the hair away from me. Uh, I just get a better line to it. So if you notice the way I'm actually holding the scissors, when I'm closing the blade right here, you can see it's on the back stroke that I'm actually cutting. So I'm not pushing that hair forward. Look, it's really important. And I know I talk about this a lot, but once you get it down, you'll just make your haircuts better. So just taking diagonal forward sections, you can see here that I want to keep a little bit of length to it, but basically going through and over directing it to keep that length so I can break it up. So now I'm just going through and giving it some texture, breaking up the weight behind the ear. That's where a lot of people keep the heaviness, right behind the ear there. So I'm just going through both sides, just making sure that it's textured, that we've got the weight out of it, that it's gonna fall nice and piecey. So with Kimberly, I'm actually using the Lemon Sage Thickening Spray to give it a little bit of body, to give it that movement, because I want to go through and round brush it just to keep that volume in the hair. I don't want to flat iron it too much, but I want to bring out the lift. 
So now that I've dried it all, I'm just going to go through and personalize it. Just make sure everything's right. Give it that little bit more pieciness with the scissors. I really love this haircut. I love the way it turned out. It's a shorter look for Kimberly than we've normally done in the past, but I really like the end result. So if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, I would love you to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you know when I upload. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear what you have to say about this haircut. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed doing this haircut. I think it turned out amazing. I absolutely loved it. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it just as much as I've enjoyed making it.